Evan Marinovsky here for Bruins Rinkside, continuing our summer series called Expectations, which is presented by our good friends over at Athletic Greens. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash Bruins today to get a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D, as well as five free travel packs. So, Hampus Lindholm, a very interesting case here, because Lindholm was terrific in the time that he came to Boston after getting traded for Anaheim last year again five assists in 10 games with the Bruins was really strong with Charlie McAvoy on that top pairing a great two-way presence good in his own zone good in the offensive zone can play the power play and kill some penalties for you again can really do it all sign that long-term extension which again might be questionable in the later years but for right now while the Bruins say they're still trying to contend that's the guy you want short up the left side uh, on that top pairing it would be nice for the Bruins, for them, if they had Lindholm and McAvoy to begin the year and get a full year with them as the top pairing. That's not what's going to end up happening. McAvoy is missing a considerable amount of the first half due to surgery. And Lindholm is going to be the number one guy. Lindholm is going to be Mr. Reliable on that top pairing. And the question comes down to who is he getting paired with? Him and Brandon Car Brandon Carlos seems like the easy one to put up there with him, considering that Brandon Carlos is the top guy on the right side after McAvoy. So that's what I would expect them to start off with. The results were not great last year in the very limited time we saw uh, Lindholm and Carlo together. But, again, start of a new season. Expect a bounce back from Brandon Carlo, you have to think. You know, Connor and I talked about this on Poke the Bear, so maybe that pair ends up working out with them starting out the year together. Some other candidates, Jakob Zaborl is a dark horse. People are saying, you know, with his reliable play, steady play, maybe he's a guy he can play on that right side, even though he's a left-shot defenseman. Maybe he goes next to Hampus Lindholm. So it's going to be interesting to see what they end up doing. Again, I would expect Carlo to begin the year at least for the first couple games um, with Hampus Lindholm. Lindholm's going to get a lot of power play time. Again, no Grizzlick or McAvoy to begin the season. They're going to need a defense, at least one defenseman on that power play. You have to think it's definitely going to be Hampus Lindholm. He can kill penalties even with McAvoy out. You know, Lindholm is going to be getting uh, looks, killing penalties. Um, and again, it comes down to who his top pairing guy is on that right side. Um, Points-wise for Hampus Lindholm, again, it's a full season. So you have to think, I think it's going to be over 30 points with all that power play time, feeding David Pasternak. Um, you know, whoever else is on that power play, Taylor Hall, I think you're, he's going to get points uh, somehow. He's a good distributor. He's good at breaking the puck out of his own zone. So I do think the points are going to be there. I don't think it's going to be, you know, 50-plus points. But I do think it's going to be a solid season for him. 30-plus points is what I would probably mark him down for. Um, and that's a good estimate for him because, again, I think if McAvoy was with him to start the year and we could kind of say, hey, they're going to be together the entire year, I think you know, I could sa sa safely say, oh, it's going to be 40 points. He's going to have a you know, really strong offensive year playing next to Charlie McAvoy. But, again, McAvoy is going to be out for uh, a little bit of time. So that was my expectations for Hampus Lindholm. Again, an interesting case just given we didn't see a ton of him last year because he was traded at the deadline. But in the time we did see him, he was really really strong so we're gonna have more expectations videos throughout the off season and more videos and more podcasts and everything you guys love so make sure to subscribe to us over at bruins rinkside right now